and welcome back to Reading Homestuck. We got Arthur and Mason here today. Hello. Hello. Ye. Um. Yeah, fuck it. I uh, don't really have anything to say at the beginning this time, so. A any of you got something to ramble about for five minutes, or are we just gonna just dive right in? Yeah, sure. Um. In inside of me, there are two wolves. One no. is good cringe. One is bad cringe. Uh, I have something to moan and whinge about. Whinge yesterday, away, my friend. Yesterday, I went to my local hobby store to play some Magic the Gathering casually. And <clears throat> the two people who came to, who we invited to play with us who were just randoms, who just said, do you guys have anybody else to play with? And we were like, no, please feel free to come join us. One of them had some very fun and very interesting decks that were very, actually quite interesting to see and play. The other one did not. Oh the dear. one who did not had uh. start. The one who did not started by playing a card that is worth more than my quarterly rent oh. for the year. One thousand dollar card. Jeez. They then proceeded <laughs> to acquire twelve colorless mana in a colorless Kozilek Eldrazi commander deck in the first three turns, and then play Winter Orb against three people who had no ramp. And so all between them had three lands and were fully tapped out. He was playing against a Sacrifice Insects deck, which was, you know, mid-level. It had some Delve cards in there, if anybody knows Magic the Gathering. It was alright. It had, you know, a Grave Troll and stuff like that. So it was, it was capable of doing what it needed to do. A Mono Green Eldrazi deck, which had never been tested before. And a... Orzov, or Black and White Enchantment Ariette deck. Needless to say, he won in two turns. And then, mm -hmm. after he played that, it was like, that was quite a strong deck. We're more, I said, yeah, that was quite a strong deck. That was quite cool. Yeah, I, lo I love seeing the shiny Mana Vault. That's a crazy expensive card. And he was like, yeah, I drew it from a pack. And I'm like, wow, what the fuck? He also played a serialized card, which means that's probably worth $10,000. Jeez. Anyway, uh, he then did that, and then I said, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. And I was like, well, whatever. That was the first game. He was probably probing. He played his most powerful, most expensive, most interesting, you know. You know, this he was, was his probably, way of He was just... probably just effectively flexing right at the start yeah. just to go, fuck it, I have this, might as well crack mm. it out once in a while. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, this suit is and a also, nice... Uh, there was an Eldrazi deck on the field, so I probably wanted to do Eldrazi versus Eldrazi. That's fun and interesting. I then said, okay, we're more like mid power level. Do you have anything like, you know, a bit lower power? So he says, yeah, sure. He then pulls out a CDH five color commander control deck using Kenrith the Returned King and fished for his uh, reusable four mana counter spell with 30 mana available every turn. And he got his stuff to untap on everyone else's upkeep. So there was no way of removing anything that he had. There's no way of playing any cards he had because he had six counter spells against you a turn. And if you're playing six spells a turn and you're not a spell slinger deck, yeah, it's like it's over for everyone else, presumably. So yeah, it was like uh, we just kind of sat there, like, wow. So you just kind of got pub cool. stomped, is what happened. Yeah, by like a two ten thousand dollar decks and i just kind of sat there like cool okay Neat. that's uh it's not mid power level <laughs> that is that is not what i requested like I, at all yeah i i thought your story was gonna end like one of them had a really cool interesting creative deck the other didn't and that was why you were <laughs> why you were pissed off <laughs> No, no, no. I, I mean, well you just weren't I'm gonna even, elaborate i thought no was... it was just i just but I'm no that's like I'm not like mad. I'm just like okay, all right. Just kind of like what a, stunned by what, it. what a boring guy. Anyway, yeah. Luckily, uh, a friend mm. needed me, so I I had an excuse to just be like, ah, sorry, got a dip. And I, I gotta just go. Left. I gotta go put mm. my shoes away at home. Yeah, no. I I, I, just a friend needed me, so I just left, and then uh, 
Oh, yeah. I forgot. I mean, I left otherwise, I would have. I would have gas running and didn't start it. I need to go home and start it now. The man in the orange hat has a quest for me. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was just a matter of. I mean, otherwise, I probably would have just upgraded to my higher power decks if we'd kept playing and been like, okay, this guy doesn't have anything medium power. This, he's just gonna go full in. So I'll just mm. play my most powerful decks and kill him yeah. immediately, turn four, so we can actually play it's the time game. To go all out, just this once. <laughs> No, I've done it three times, and I've won all three. But that's besides the point. Uh, either either anyway, way, yeah. Anyway, my point was, it's like, if someone... If you if you stomp somebody that bad, to the point where they have to go, do you have anything mid-power? And you decide to pull out a good five-colour CDH commander deck with Ristic Study, Mystic Remora, uh, Trouble in Pairs, like... All the card taxes that you chewed for, uh, a reusable counter spell, mana drain, overwhelming force, deadly relic, uh, deflecting swat, all of those free zero response cards. Like, uh, basically, get eight. <laughs> Is uh, like, I, I have a proposition. Don't play casually, go to a tournament. <laughs> yeah, this is my mid level deck. He just pulls out yeah. a gun. <laughs> this is my mid-level deck. Here's my mid-level contains... deck. 17 shells. Yeah, it's like, I just kind of sat there and I looked at that like, what mid-level are you playing? Mid-level is power levels 5 to, well, it's 4 to 7. 4 to 7 will have two instant response cards, usually. Like, if you've got a deadly relic and an overwhelming force in a mid-level deck, people are going to look at you and scowl. Mm. Because those cards are very That's strong because mid-level. they are free. They are like, free unless, to play. Unless every other card in your deck is absolute ab- unabashed oh, yeah, oh, yeah. dog shit. I mean, in mid- which mid-level case, is ten- it's, just, just, it's just entirely intention- land. In which case, you're just kind of intentionally building your deck to be a bit of a dickwad, aren't you? There's no hmm. creatures, it's just land. Yeah, so it's like. Basically, yeah. My point being. We were like, we'll play mid-level. A mid-level deck might cost you $300, and you've got six cards in there that are about $20 to $60 each. Maybe an $80 card if the rest of your cards are, like, the rest of the really good cards are quite cheap. The rest of them are going to be, at most, $2, between, like, $0.50 and $2. And then you're going to have a few good lands. Mm. Yeah, maybe some sack lands, maybe some drain lands, maybe some... If you're really just an amusing cunt, you might have the challenge lands, which are, you know, if you just only play four player, you can just get the ones that are the best in four player. I love that turn of phrase, amusing cunt. You know, I, yeah, I've I've gotten a few of the challenge lands. They're quite fun if you play four player, but I also play two player, so they're, you know, I think that's balanced because when I play, like the majority of my games, they don't actually help me in any way. But anyway. Mm. Enough about me justifying myself. My point was, what a bastard, eh? Mm. So that's my whinge. There you go. Oh. Also, fuck that guy for being able to draw a card that would pay my quarterly rent randomly. Yeah. Yeah, that's just like, as a side note, fuck that guy for being what the 1%. Actually, rich bastard. Fucking. Like, I have no idea well, how many packs he must have opened, because... He just has so just many go spend cards. all that money on a fucking like furry art commission like a normal rich person. Exactly. Anyway, yeah, it was insane. It was insane yeah. to see like um, all prismatics and serialized cards and fucking what else? Um, all that bullshit. Oh, uh, like CEDH commander. It was cool to see those decks. And if he'd said, "Wait, well, he joined." Sorry, I don't have any like low power decks i've only got high power i'd have been like fair enough i'll play my high power decks Mm. instead it's like establishing like the the baseline beforehand it's not a matter of like it's it's not a matter of you have high power you're a dick it's a matter of like you have high power and didn't tell us yeah it's like we were like yeah yeah this is my ariette the charmed apple this day you know this deck can be good it's a good commander with a good premise. It's not CDH, it's not the most powerful, but it's good. 
you know, if you're pulling up with mm. some of the best stuff, and your friend that you've brought with you as well is using mid to high, not just high or CDH. Then it's but like even if they were both using high, it would be like, no, yeah, were, okay, if were... you're both high power. Okay, understood. But there was a very big power disparity between their decks as well, mm. and and so it's just like, oh my god, oh what an asshole! It's like if you if you pull out high power just against a random off the bat. That's understandable that you didn't have that baseline agreement of, like, power scaling there. You didn't even agree with your own fucking friend who you came in with. Yeah, that's my wind. All right. From wind nice. to the comic. From whinge to cringe. Well, good hopefully cringe. not. Hopefully yeah. good cringe. Good cringe. Hopefully this is a as, good cringe as wolf. As previously referenced before... Uh, Arthur, do you want to take Dave? Yeah, I'll refer for eating. Then I will Alright, Mason, Dave. you're taking Dave. Okay. Uh, I'm done, I'm done. Oh, oh there we okay. go. Okay, then Never uh, mind. I guess Never not. Never mind. Codex half sound. I just had to finish my mouthful. I just had a mouthful of pasta. <laughs> Sorry, we, we thought that you were, like, continuing to eat. I could not understand the exact words you said. All I heard, all the only word I comprehended from you was eating. Yeah. Which was pretty okay. self-evident, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, you know. You know uh, what they say, anyway. Uh, her uh, imperious uh, condescension has duly noted your ridiculous tantrum. Now take your Welsh sword. That Excalibur? Uh, it's a uh, fucking Caled full switch. You dare check If I'm not events. mistaken, it is the Welsh version of the Old English name for Excalibur. What's the Old English name for Excalibur? What? Caliburn? Caliburn. Yeah. Yeah. Caliburn. Oh, okay. Will you abandon your mean. sword and flee? Sounds good to me! <laughs> anyway. Why? Since you have obviously been identified as the one who must deal English his fatal blow, we will need to make sure you're battle ready. And you do not seem very battle ready to me, Dave. Show me what you can do. Ah, fuck it out. Wait, since when can you use a sword? Also, what's up with that dumb sword? I will not hear another word of such appalling slander about this fine weapon. It's colourful, and it's silly, and it's a sword. End of story. As for why I can wield it, I surpassed the need for a strife specimus quite some time ago. This sounds like a long-winded way of saying hacking. How'd you do that? Haven't you climbed any more god tiers over the last few years? What were you even doing on that meteor? Oh, yeah, no, oh, I, I climbed a few, yeah. What badges do you have on your kitty camper handy sash? Oh, yeah, well, which ones do you have? I asked you first. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you show me your badges, and you can see mine. I want to scope out this universal specimen badge, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Dave, we both know neither the kitty camper handy sash nor the badges sewn onto it are real objects. Well, I mean, yeah, but uh, it's pretty easy to forget sometimes, though, you know. Died of time. Uh, yeah. So, dementia or something. <laughs> hmm. I think we're getting sidetracked by the kitty camper shit. Uh, are you really suggesting we do an actual sword fight right now, like, uh, for training purposes? I thought we were gonna have like a Gary Oak moment where he, oh shit, where he just pulls out like all of his badges and like half of them are just fake. <laughs> yeah, here's my ten. I've badges. already collected ten badges. Why yeah. not? Our Empress can hardly have a knight with such rusty combat skills in her service. The fuck? 
Look at the second comment. I saw that on TikTok like a day ago and I just thought Welsh. <laughs> oh, <for God>. Welsh. <laughs> what? <laughs> You can Google what that sheep looks like as well. Well. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oof. Oh Christ. They're just anyway. shaggy and the hair grows over their eyes. That's that's the that's the special ear of a Lincoln sheep. Welsh oh, individual. Cro oh, for God's sake. Anyway, we were. Look, uh, you uh, where, where, where are you gonna, can you cut it out with the uh, evil J baloney? Uh, I'm not gonna fight you. My rooftop days are over. On guard. <laughs> oh, even if we just went balls out, jackass bananas with our swords here, I mean, realistically, how much appreciable advancement in my battle skills would even result from that? You actually think it is true? You just going through the vaguely nefarious motions that come with the territory of being an evil dog, exclamation mark, Jade. I'm gonna go through the vaguely nefarious motions of kicking your ass in a minute if you don't put up your dukes. I mean, yeah, you probably will. You'll probably annihilate me worse than my bro used to. I don't like that phrasing. Uh, it's probably just because, uh... My bro used to fuck puppets, but uh, that makes me uncomfortable reading that. Ew. Anyway, don't you have all your dogs the same powers like, uh, got to your space powers on top of all that? How am I exactly supposed to compete with that? By using your time trickery. Come on, Dave, do your tiny thing. Get, con get creative. Make lots of copies of yourself or something. Outsmart me! Uh, no. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, here I go. Hmm? Wait, eh. Uh, Dave, just try a little time travel to get this fight started. We're allowed a See? little time travel as a treat. See, look, one of your time double doubles is surely predestined to come from a few minutes in the future and appear behind me for a surprise attack. Right about now. No. Wait. Right. Now. Dave, why is your future self being such a wet blanket? Uh, I told you I'm not time traveling. I think I'm giving it for, up for good, actually. I can't go back in time again because... I can't go back in time again. It's just it. I just don't really feel like it. I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm serious. The thing is, being a I mean, time guy, like actually mastering time travel, I'm pretty sure that what that involves is learning to never use it. See, it's like karate. Well, it's more like what they say about karate. And you learn it so you don't use it. But I mean, we all know the truth about karate is if you know the karate, then obviously in reality you use it all the time. Like, Fucking lethal crane kicks and sweet karate chops while walking down the street just because you can. It's a goddamn no brainer. That's what you do with karate. But you see, with time travel, all the stuff about learning it so you don't have to use it is true. There's no good that can come of it. You can crunch the logic loops all you want, but all you're doing is painting yourself into a corner, creating inevitabilities that you have to rehearse and enact or face death for yourself or everyone you know. Sometimes facing death is, a very, is the very inevitability you have to rehearse. And then you wait and wait and wait knowing it's coming and knowing it never has, I mean, knowing it has to happen. How do you think it made me feel while we were gathering up all those frogs and I knew the whole time in, the, in a little while you would have to watch me get shot. But I couldn't say anything or it would mess it all up. All because I thought it would be cool to be Marty McFucking Fly. But instead of shredding Johnny B. Good on the guitar to get my parents to bang, my crowning performance was doing a funny dance while getting pumped full of lead. And then I had to leave everyone behind to get in the DeLorean and return to the 1980s, but the DeLorean was actually a big purple fucking moon, and the 1980s was me accidentally reaching God tier and living on a shitty meteor for a while, and I guess Rose was Doc Brown, and Doc Brown accidentally reached God tier too. Okay, I guess this is where the analogy falls apart, but you get what I mean. Sorry, Dave, you lost me there after the part where I shot you. Damn, okay, let me start over. Oh my god, no! 
The fact is, you're going to have to rely on those powers if you want to stand any chance against a Lord of Time. It is safe to accept, expect he can only be challenged by someone with a similar command over the aspect. Great, Scott. Why is that safe to expect? Where are all these presumptions coming from? If you can use swords, why don't you take the Welsh Cubal sword in front of yourself? I think you fuck him up. You're probably even more extra strong than he succumbed to the bark side. <laughs> you ever think about that? If you only knew the power of the bark side. Dave, I am perfectly Furries. aware of the awesome powers granted to me by the bark side. It does not matter. I can't be the one to wield your sword against English. It has to be you. It is the will of the Empress, and that's final. The Jedi are cats and the Sith are dogs. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, but you know what? The Empress can suck it, and I have no intention of fighting him. This isn't even me more pulling more lame, self-aware, reluctant hero junk. I'm just straight up not going to do it. See, that's not reluctance, that's just petulant refusal on my part. Reluctant hero shit is when the guys are like, Aw, shucks, I don't know if I want him, but deep down we all know he really does. But I really don't. Like, why should I? I don't give a bam about Lord English or his nebulous atrocities out in nowhere space. But what kind of villain is someone you never met? Who hardly did anything evil to you or your friends directly, or even anyone in your universe for that matter, or other than some vague, insidious influence. I mean, who even is this guy, and why should I hate him? Am I really supposed to be pissed off at a green muscle monster I never met? Because I ain't pissed off at no muscle monster, though. No. Wasn't he in some ass-backwards way responsible for us all existing in the first place? Or all of humanity, for that matter. Maybe I should thank him before chopping him by the Welsh caliber. Average JRPG. <laughs> Jeez, you sure have some issues. Honestly, it has become very tiresome listening to this sort of thing. I thought Dave Sprite had problems. His issues I could kind of understand. I thought you might be different being the Alpha Dave at all. But no, you might be even more messed up inside than he was. Oh, uh, I... Why, what, what are you, what are you, why are you dragging that guy into this? I, no, nothing happened with you and him anyway. None of your business. I, it kind of is. He's burned me, and that clearly means I have a right to know. That doesn't make any sense. You said he had issues. What issues? Ah, oh, forget I mentioned it. Is he talking shit about me the whole time or something? I know he resents me for being the real Dave. Don't say that. You aren't the real Dave. Well, you are, but phrasing it that like that is so mean. He's just as real as you, and when you imply he isn't, you sound like a jerk. Oh, wow. Man, I knew it. I knew he was poisoning your view of me with all those tears, and I wasn't there to say anything or defend against his slander, and now you think I'm a neurotic douche. And the fact, only reason I, I think you're a neurotic douche is because you're acting like one now. One now. I used to oh, think yeah. you were an idiot. Oh, sure, now I see yeah, but I only... I only picked up acting like a neurotic douche like halfway through this conversation. The neurosis was contagious. And you clearly had an axe to grind with me from the start. Oh, 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 I want to know why. What I ever do to deserve this shit from you? You broke you my broke heart! You broke my heart! Oh, what? Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Maria! Oh, that. Oh, Maria! <laughs> okay, not you. Dave Sprite did. But you're basically the same guy. Hey, well, now, no way. You literally just said. Now, that's such an unfair characterization. We are completely different dudes. <laughs> you just said you had a right to know what happened between us because, and I quote, he's bird me. Yeah. And I was playing the he's bird me card because it was convenient to whatever I wanted at the time. <laughs> but now I don't want that. I forget what point I was making when I said that. Oh, that's so valid. <sighs> but that's not the point I'm making now. He and me are just crazy different, you know? He's got fucking wings and presumably takes a dump and lays eggs out of the same ghostly hole. I'm gonna be sick. That was so gross. Why did I say <sighs> that? Okay, uh, I 
I'm sorry if he broke up with you or whatever. That's because of his dumb bird issues, not my issues. There's no way I would have done that to you. My issues are totally different, probably way more serious. And way uh, more I don't actually see. <laughs> my issues are uh, totally different and probably way more serious. I have <laughs> this is, this is fake news. Issues. Fake issues. Fa- he has fake issues. I have real issues. <laughs> anyway, I don't, I don't <laughs> see anyone ordering him the master time traveler trying to pawn brittle Welsh swords off on him, do you? Nobody is telling him he's got to murder the Incredible Hulk. Did you tell him he's got to murder the Incredible Hulk, Jade? No. I think not. We are going to murder the Incredible Hulk, <laughs> and we are going, going to, to blame. We're, we're going to blame to Abomination for it. Hulk. I refuse to murder the Incredible Hulk. The Obama wants us to murder the Incredible Hulk. The Obama. I'm different. I'm different. I don't want to murder him. I think the, he's a good man. The, the Incredible Hulk is an American icon. He's the Incredible Hulk more. can be defined by one word. I as put it. <laughs> Can't do it with that one. We were this close to the first spit take of the show. God damn it. We were like a second away from it. Oh, damn. Anyway. Dave, I did my best to put all this behind me a long time ago. I did not come here to dredge up any of this drama with you. Besides, such behavior is unbecoming of her condescension of her condescension's loyal subordinates. You can be stubborn all you want, but I will force you to comply with her wishes one way or another. It will be quite easy, actually. All I have to do is target the people you care about most. Uh, hey! Nah. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Don't you dare touch the fucking mayor. He is a very cute mayor. It therefore pains me to have to do this. Get away from him! <laughs> no! No! Oh shit, God, he's my falling throat. off the fucking page. <laughs> oh, there he is, there it is. Yeah, Dave was putting on the voice the whole time. <laughs> oh, well, saved him, thank I, God. I think we discussed gotcha. that. I think we discussed that. That it, the, the solid snake voice is definitely uh, like uh, a fake voice uh, that he is that he is putting on to sound cool. I swear to God, I hope this isn't a Gwen Stacy moment. And I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking original you, Gwen God. Stacy. I haven't seen Across the Spider Verse. Clearly fine. I got you, I got you. We I don't want you. this to be a canon. I event. got you, I'm never letting you go. Never again, never again. I got you, Mayor. Never, 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 never again. It's okay, everything will be alright. It's okay, you're safe. It's sound now, and it's all gonna be alright. Fuck. It's, it's okay, I won't let her hurt the Mayor. No, 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 never. Okay, he's blinking, he's alright. You're fine. He's good. Okay. Phew. I was close, so close. I almost lost I'm, my cool I'm here, there. Mayor, I'm here for you, and I'm, I'm not letting you go, I promise. When this is all over, let's run away together. Just you and me, and we can build a real town. Oh, God down well, let's live there together alone all by ourselves. It's time for every half. Everything's gonna be fine, man. I'll, I'll be okay. Shh. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> why the fuck is he like. like why is he sweet like talking the, f- the fucking mayor? It's like the friggin' horse on the beach, Charlie's man. Just man. He's like a melody in my head that I can't like... forget. Why knack, is knack, being knack, a knack. bad guy so hard? Why do good <laughs> girls like bad guys? I had this question for a real long time. I and wish I'm I could afford I... a car. Ah, <laughs> if only shit. I had a bike. I really want to fuck that guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Hang on, man. I'm, I'm going to take this. What do this could be? Mayor, I'll be just a second with this, I promise. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, Mason, just do a vaguely, like, close to the Xavier Renegade Angel voice and just say gibberish. I don't know what that is. It sounds okay, I'll a little bit then. like Ooh. this. What? Who is this? <laughs> I, 
I can't understand the thing you're saying. Is this Dave Sprite? <laughs> Dave's right, yo, I, I look, if that's you, we should probably talk soon, like, about stuff. What? What about my bro? Dude, what? Dude, listen, I can't talk right now. I'm flying over some lava with the mayor. <laughs> Oh shit, you aren't up to speed on the fucking mayor. That's so wrong. You gotta beat the mayor. Anyway, let's talk another time when there's less glitchy bullshit. Later, bro. <laughs> Alright, okay, we're back here. But can we okay. do anything? Okay, yeah, we can do the middle one. Yep, we, we, I th we I think that I think that text was different. No, it wasn't. I don't remember it saying web 2.0. It, okay. it did say that anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I have a okay, uh, who wants to take Kanaya? Uh, Arthur, Hi. you're taking Car Cat because it's Car Cat. That's your hard. voice forever. Um, well Mason, you, you take Kanaya. Which one's Kanaya again? It's the uh, Scottish. Soft spoken Scottish. Soft, soft, All right, that, I thought so. Soft spoken Scottish voice, yeah. Why would you do that? I do not understand why you needed to impale my friend to demonstrate your resurrection abilities. I believed you. You had a chance to change your feet. <laughs> if you had a chance. <laughs> it was pointless and cruel and does not advance my willingness to cooperate with you at all. Furthermore, it did not prove that you can use said abilities to harm me. I believe that assertion was based on a fallacious theory about my constitution. In actuality, one could easily kill me with any number of conventional methods. I'm sure he could chop my head off or burn me alive or crush me to death and I would die just fine. Uh, well, what can I, could, uh, could you maybe not give the psycho fork girl any more ideas? I'm not scared of you. None of us are. No, I, I, no, I am. Karakat, uh, shut up. Uh, no, she, did, did you, did you know she's a groomer? Wait, was that... Well, that's really no. neither here nor there. No, no, if this that, treacherous... That, that's here. That's what turn it, serving <laughs> it's, <not> turn, <laughs> it's all here. Like, she's that, right in front of me. She's right, no, that, it's right there. That's here, it's, it's not over it's there. It's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> no. Serving turn no, it's right compliance in front of you, actually. <laughs> Right in, uh, right in front of you, in front of your fucking face. Then she will have to pry it from my mutilated, lifeless cadaver. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, if that you're so, the, those were the right things to say. If you're so convinced that your recuperative magic will strike me down, then why don't you put your theory to the test? I doubt you will, since you've made it clear you need our participation to achieve your goals, which is a fact that your naive cohort foolishly revealed to us. Oh, I don't think she's very good at being a villain. And to be honest, I have my doubts about you as well, so I'm calling your bluff. If you continue to insist that your healing enchantments have the power to slay me, then I implore you to give it your best shot. So go on, do it! Do your human worst! Silence. <laughs> Wait, you can talk using actual sentences. Obviously. Then why resort exclusively to intimidating robotic sound bites for however long you were doing that? Because when it comes to the affairs of my empire, I am all business. You see, Kanaya. I am a businesswoman. A very shrewd one at that. It's nothing personal. It's nothing just business. Personal, Lord kitty. business. Okay. Watch and learn, rainbow drinker. Wow, nice slur. That, yeah, that does sound pretty homophobic. It really does sound quite homophobic. <laughs> in this specific I context. I am white and homophobic. Okay, so... Cautiously, you approach the ruthless businesswoman. Watch your mind. The chest of m the chest of merchandise. You say you mean the hunger trunk? She acts like she didn't even hear you. Watch your mind. You are about to launch into another wordy tirade, but she wants to cut the chit chat and get down to business. 
She has a proposition for you. What is it you say? She wants to know if you would like to buy these potions. motherfucking potions. Oh, you can't no, handle sound, my potions. The sound pipe has changed. It used to be the fucking Resident Evil. Now she's the potion seller. Fuck. Uh, Does it play both at once? That's what you should do. Every time you click, just play both of those sound bites at once. <laughs> just both at once. Anyway. Uh, you examine the businesswoman's wares. With piqued curiosity, to your surprise, uh, to your surprise, wait, uh, 420 million per bottle? Isn't that a bit steep? She, ass she assures you these are standard retail markups. Plus, the quality is impeccable. Each potion is aged to perfection. Bronze potion. The businesswoman makes little effort to hide the fact that this is a bottle of troll blood. Not exactly a premium vintage, you remark, casually, hoping to knock the price down a little. She isn't budging, though. Damn, she's good. No. Shit. <laughs> There's no Take no the deal. Yes or okay. <laughs> Take <laughs> the deal. Okay, I guess. Okay, you buy a few bottles of Tavros's blood. You will think fondly of his memory as you sip it in private when no one can see. Hey, it's not like you're proud of this fucking habit. Fuchsia Potion. She says this potion was once running through the veins of a former heiress. It's real good shit. It doesn't cost any more than the others, though, because she knows it's all the same to you. She can spot somebody in need of her fix when she sees one. The woman is an absolutely ruthless hustler of contraband. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. You nod in her direction ever so slightly and hold up two fingers. She forks over the two she forks over two hundred bottles. With a deep sigh, you slip her the moolah. Bitch is gonna send you to the fucking poorhouse. This was just water. Mm -hmm. you fucking. Isn't it like a, a workhouse where people were basically just... They had to work in return for, like, food? Yeah. I would know this because I live in... I, well, I don't... I, well, I now work in a building that used to be a workhouse. Hmm. Anyway, Indigo Potion. She says she doesn't recall whom this potion was bled from, but she doubts it matters to you. She palms the bottle and swirls the fluid enticingly. You suddenly imagine Equius in his gross, sweaty body and feel a little queasy. Nope, you absolutely refuse to buy this potion. You will not do it. Nope, no way. Ha, <laughs> why not? Uh, why not? You buy a bunch of bottles and shamefully stash them with the others. Damn your lack of self-control. The businesswoman shakes her head slowly as she stuffs the cash in her hoodie. My money goes to pay for the prisons and the poor houses, so the homeless must go there. But sir, some would rather die! If they'd rather die, then they'd better do it, and decrease the surplus population! It'd be like that, with fucking fascists. Anyway, Olive Potion. She says this is supposed to be a love potion, adding, trust her. It don't work. Probably tastes good to a weirdo like you, though. Want some? You entertain a melancholy thought about dear Nepeta as you begin to salivate. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, absolutely. You say you guess you'll take one. Absolutely. You, you said absolutely. <laughs> she says deal and gives you a thousand. You say, huh? He says, don't worry about the extras. She'll put them on your tab. You say thanks. She says, don't mention it. And then says, guess what? What do you say? Time to set time to settle up your debt. You say what? Just as she begins polishing her fork menacingly. You grumble a bit and dump 420 billion boonies in her f at her feet unceremoniously. I guess this could have been seven pages, but you know, I pr I prefer that it's just one. I appreciate this instead. Violet potion. She says this is some d bag's blood. She never met the guy, but she's heard some unflattering stories. She doesn't. It doesn't sound that appetizing to you, but at least you wouldn't feel that guilty about drinking it. Oh, the rationalizations that run through the mind of a thirsty rainbow drinker. 
Again. Did you really just say that out loud? The businesswoman nods. Yeah, that doesn't sound like anything anyone just... <laughs> yes or yeah. Yeah. Mark. You say you'll yeah. take a half dozen bottles. She says, sorry, she's only got one in stock. She says her wholesaler had a very limited supply. Seems like... Uh, seems like a lot of it was lost before he had a chance to harvest it. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? She says while tapping her nose. You quickly change the subject. It's a really nice tiara she has there. Really, um, it's just really nice. Her, eye, her eyes say thanks, but her face says, look, I couldn't care less that you killed Eridan with a chainsaw. I gotta be honest, I misread that as killed Krillin with a chainsaw. <laughs> no! Goku! <laughs> no, Freezer! Anyway, Cobalt Potion. She says this potion was supposed to make you lucky. She wouldn't know, because she never drank any. Because she's not a vampire, she said, just to drive her point home. Mm-hmm, you say, glancing around uncomfortably. Doesn't matter, though, she says. She says she makes her own luck now. You're tuning out her lecture at this point. You're just eyeing the vial of delicious Vriska blood and reaching for your pocketbook. I love it when the text goes outside of the text box. Please! Please! Please. I beg Please. you! Please. You thank the businesswoman for the transaction, and a car cat is asking you what the hell you're doing. You're doing over there. Are you buying shit from her? He demands to know what the fuck you could be buying. Is that... Are those little jars of blood, he asks? Please tell him you're not buying blood from this lunatic, Kanaya. You say, what? No, of course not, and hide it behind your back. <laughs> Time to buy one more. <laughs> Gold potion. Two for one deal on this gross mustard blood, she says. Uh, she means potion. She pauses, looks at it, and shrugs. Then she then says she means blood. Anyway, you want some? You know you want some. Yep. The potion. <laughs> yep. Yep. You say, okay, you'll take two. She says, that'll be 840 million. Say, 840? What about the two-for-one deal? She says, the two-for-one deal only applies... Uh, the two-for-one deal applies, but there's a mandatory 100% gratuity tacked on to the bill. You sigh and cough up the dough. You cannot add Fox Jane Crocker in cunning business practices. She is simply the best there is. It's like the opposite of the thing that happens in the Tintin movie, where he, like, he buy he, the guy who's selling the, like, um, model of the unicorn is like, it's only two quid, and Tintin's like, I'll give you a pound, and the guy's like, done! Like, he gets 50% off with no effort whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> quid, innit? Yeah, no, the, 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 I think it is the, the text is different. Slightly, yeah. But, I mean, realistically, it's not that... It doesn't seem to be that important. Yeah. Uh, Dave nothing Tom. Andrew Hussey says is that important. Whatever. Yeah, real. Dave but Tom. if you had read it, you would know that only the first option is working. Oh. <laughs> you get trolled in real time. What up, what up, what up, what up. Um, I'll just cut back. I'll just do a quick replay of that bit from before. One of your time double doubles is surely predestined to come from a few minutes in the future and appear behind me for a surprise attack. Right about now. No. Wait. Right now. Dave, why is your future self being such a wet blanket? Uh, I told you I'm not time traveler. I think I'm giving it a Except now Johnny's here. Anyway, um... Uh, I'm serious. Arthur? The thing is, being a time guy, like, actually mastering time travel, I'm pretty sure it... Uh, the, what that involves is learning to never use it. It's like karate, you know. Well, it's more like what they say about karate. You learn it so you don't have to use it, but I mean, we all know the truth about karate is, you know, karate, then obviously in reality you use it all the fucking time. Like you do 
doing lethal fucking crane kicks and sweet karate chops while walking down the street. Cause he can't. It's goddamn no bro. That's you do what, John? What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. Well, hold on a moment. I just need to check something. <laughs> Okay, that'll give me a chance to get back into the genre properly. Okay, good, yeah. Number uh, 15. I just had a moment of being like, wait, hold on a moment. I wonder if it's recording through the phone again, because I didn't actually <laughs> check that. It's not. It hasn't been? Good, thank fuck okay, for good. that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't know. John, uh, don't get me wrong. It's cool that you randomly dropped by again, but this wasn't really the best time. We were kind of in the middle of a thing here. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, John, did you really have to pick now of all times to materialize out of nowhere and taunt me? I'm sorry. Jeez, it was an accident. So what now? Am I really supposed to tackle you just to watch you vanish yet again? No, no, please don't. Because I don't really feel like it. Do you have any idea how frustrating that becomes after a while? I didn't mean to come here, really. I still can't control the jumps. I'm trying, but it just... Dude, are you time traveling? Please don't tell me you're time traveling. We need to leave that shit to the experts. No, it's not time travel. Well, not technically. Who do you think you're talking to here? Do you see this bright red gear on my hoodie? That means I know stuff about time travel. That like sure looks like you're time traveling to me. No, I swear. Okay, see, I went on a dream quest with some troll pirates. Aha. Uh -huh. Troll pirates. Uh, never mind. That's the long version of the story. Okay, so I stuck my hand in this little magic house and... John, you fucking shit up here. What? You being here, that's not supposed to happen. All this shit we're saying now, it's not supposed to go down like this. I can feel it. I know. I'm sorry. I would zap away again, but I don't know how. I, I don't think it matters now, dude. The bridge is screwed. Oh. Wow, oh, wait, that was a terrible figure of speech in this context, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I was just saying, I, I didn't want to do this time. Uh, I didn't want to time travel anymore to avoid bullshit like this. It's not time travel, though. I promise. Okay, then what is it? I don't know, like some kind of surreal, history-altering, reality-hopping magic power. Wow. Uh... That's time travel, genius. No way, dude. You have to trust me on this. Alright, but if it turns out you just created a Doom timeline and we're all gonna die, I'm gonna be hella mad. This isn't a Doom timeline. I'm telling you, I can change things. Stuff that wasn't supposed to be changed. And I'm not saying bad stuff won't happen as a result of the things I change, but at least it won't make a Doom timeline. The new things that happen will just be the stuff that's supposed to happen. Pretty dope if true, but uh, actually, in a way, that makes me more nervous. It does. Yeah, I'm messing with the alpha timeline. I mean, not the alpha timeline, but the alpha alpha timeline. Well, this seems heretical, I guess. You know what you you sure you know what you're doing, Egbert? Heresy grows from idleness. Um, Earth to Dave. I already said I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Gotcha. Well, I'm sold, but uh. Any man, you're kind of interrupting a thing. It's a moral mechanics, not even withstanding. What was I interrupting? Oh, it's just going to be a serious conversation here. Uh, I have a feeling Jade and I were going to get all heavy with our relationship issues or whatever. You were. <sighs> yes, unfortunately, that's probably where this was going. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm fucking this up so bad. See, this is what I'm worried about. Even though my random jumps are supposed to be a safe form of time travel, I'm still nervous that I might be ruining important events anyway. Like, there was all this crazy stuff that happened to get us here, whether it was good or bad, and I, if I fumble around like this, accidentally changing all that stuff, then I won't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe no one will. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, does anyone even know what's going on now? That's what I'm saying. Things are complicated enough as it is. Truth. Okay, look. Maybe we can try to minimize my impact on this current situation. If I fly away, do you think we can? you can do whatever you were going to do in the first place? 
Do you know what you were going to do if we had if we managed to close the door on both sides at the same time? <laughs> that whenever I think of stuff getting unnecessarily complicated, I just remember that scene from Kingdom Hearts with Mickey and uh, Aqua. Mm. Yes, I was going to kick the mare into the lava. What? Holy shit! That is so uncool. I was going to make it clear I was serious about killing someone you cared about. So you would stop being a baby and start using your powers and sword fight with me, you dumb jerk. Wow. Jada. You might be a little too good at being a villain. It's kind of worrying. <laughs> Thank you. The mayor would be dead if John didn't show up. Oh yes, absolutely. He would be burnt to a crisp right now, I'm sure of it. God damn, Jade. Why'd you do that? You know, eventually I'd start using my powers and reluctantly start embracing my role as a reluctant hero. Which it always happens. No, you wouldn't. We were just going to argue with me. You were just going to argue with me forever. Yeah, maybe. But the point is, you're not gonna bother killing the mayor anymore, are you? I guess not. He is a very cute mayor, after all. Hey, John. Your fake time travel upgraded bullshit is already paying off. You saved the mayor. Congratulations. Okay, I'm glad the mayor is alive and well, but this is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Isn't there some way you could just pretend I never showed up and let this play out the way it was supposed to? Sorry, John. Whatever Dave and I were going to argue about, I think the moment has passed. The whole thing is kind of ruined, to be honest. Damn it! Okay, I uh, yell something. Uh, I'm getting a text. Uh, I can't fucking read this. <laughs> I can't fucking understand. Huh? Hello. Wow, these cool new cartridge features have exploded onto your desktop computer once again. And now we're talking, speeding, speed, this is... Speaking of exploding all over my computer. My... She joking at in my, my pants. <laughs> you... What? Okay, important thing is, it appears the Rosen Terezi arc is available now, so you can click on that and read it. If this thing breaks one more time, I'm going to re repost all the Leprechaun Romance stuff here instead. <laughs> Alright, who wants to take Terezi? Arthur or Mason? Or does somebody else want to take Rose instead? What was what was Terezi's voice? Uh, Terezi's mm, voice like was like... Me. Yes, it was like Maximilian Pegasus and... <laughs> or like okay, James Arthur can do that because he knows what it is. Okay, I'll take Rose then. In Fortnite Battle Pass. Dressy, what are you doing over there? Nothing. Alright then. <laughs> It'd be funny if that was just the yeah, end of it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just skip like all this bullshit to get there. <laughs> no, no, but genuinely, that would have been hilarious. That would have been the that one. Been amazing. That would have been amazing if all this build up for for the Rose and Terezi continuation, it was just Terezi. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Cut away immediately. Do you, ever, like, do you ever think about why we're here? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what exactly are we supposed to be doing here? Oh, Cooper shells. Hmm, that are clipping off, off the, off the fucking page. How did she group the two seers together? What was the point of that? Does her goal with? I hardly know. Her. Anyway, mm -hmm. what, what is her goal with these divide and conquer tactics? Everything's so unclear. Threads leading to the most fortuitous outcomes have gotten so badly tangled. I can't tell if it's the hangover or if something else is happening. Something out there, unaccounted for. Why can't I see it? Why have I become so blind again? No offense, Therese. 
Are you, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to myself. Oh, but why? <laughs> Stop making me yell. I still have a headache and so do you. All right, sorry. Loser. Why am I talking to myself? You don't have any I friends. Everybody. Shut, shut the fuck up, Terezi! <laughs> Sorry. Do we whatever need to, we nothing need to... you're doing over there. Just, just do we... it without interrupting me, please. We need to erase the taboo of people talking to themselves. Everybody Real. talks to themselves. Real. Never criticize yeah. someone for talking to themselves. Because mm. you do it. I don't know. Maybe, Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Maybe it's just like an autistic thing. No, everybody talks to themselves. I don't know. The three people here are autistic. No. We are all, to be fair, our focus group of neuro, of like ne neurotypical people is zero. So yeah, like genuinely, I don't. No. Genuinely, of of all of the people we know in common, I don't think any of them are neurotypical. I I've I've posed this to other people I know in real life, and they yes, all so. agree with me. Mm. Oh yeah, but Fair I've enough. met people who but... don't talk to themselves. Hmm. Well, not everybody. It's not uncommon, mm. but it's, it's a developmental thing. It's a significant. It's a significant portion of people, to be fair, and the stigma does. Okay, well, at the, like, at the very least, we need to erase the undo. abnormality of it. Yeah, there's yeah, no reason yeah. talking to yourself is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. I the, do it the all the time. So stigma bad, but st you know, stigma ball. people, people yes. of the world. This is stigma my notion. Ball. Anyway, <laughs> my final message: save the world. Goodbye. 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 Bing. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I think I've spent too much time around Dave. Also, probably spent too much time sharing his genes. I must have found Okay. By okay. So many shameless soliloquists. Wonder if our young parents are like this. Wonder if I will ever find out. What should I do in the meantime? Should I? Should I really work on completing my personal planetary quest? That old thing where I learned to play the rain? Guess I should f feel exhilarated to have the chance well, again after all these years. I think every writer should read what they they write and think, can this be taken as an easy euphemism? If yes, <laughs> rephrase my writing. Rephrase. Unless, unless that's, unless that's what you want. Arthur, Arthur we, know if, we know from direct experience Andrew Hussey does not do that. Episode seven. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, it's like, it's so easy oh, to do in the I'm show. Sorry. I'm so tired of it. I'm like, sorry oh my what? god. Nice and dumped. <laughs> We're not doing this again. Four Ooh. big guys. As they <laughs> 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 just like couple parties. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> he bounces on my booty cheeks. I love the anyway, way he rides. Anyway, for God's sake. <laughs> or big guy. Who the fuck yeah. are you singing for big guys again? Oh, we can move on. We can move on. Yeah, good, okay, good, okay. okay. Uh, fucking... Of course I should. But then, why does it sound like such a drag? I haven't played the Drag, game like the 18 time. naked cowboys. <laughs> 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 right in the window, Fucking... Anyway, if fucking... Uh, I wonder if I can even remember how. To play the violin, specifically. To remind you of what I was talking about a moment ago before that fucking window showed up again. Honestly, I can't... I want to hear that song if I don't violin. I'm less motivated to... I'm not taking requests. Honestly, I can't recall ever feeling less motivated to satisfy, satisfy a looming obligation. I think my quest was fundamentally bound to the nature of this land, which was... on my obligation. 
till I feel exhilarated. <laughs> <laughs> Four big guys, no. and they loom on my No! <laughs> <laughs> it's because nothing is naked happened. guys are looming on their obligations. I know, we have just finished monologuing to myself. So I am bored. trying! We get I so am bored. trying! It's been <laughs> It's been like so many pages of nothing. Even the bits with Jake were nothing. Jake, you mean Jake? We get Jake nothing. Jake hasn't been in this episode. We lose. Oh, what I mean, John. Jake, David. D John, Dave, Dave David. David. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that for you. Whatever the fuck your fucking name is. They're boring, and this is boring right now. And I want to talk about gay sex. Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. Good for you guys! Shadow, this this game is pretty boring. Do you want to talk about gay sex instead? That sounds much more interesting, Sonic. You know, I'm I'm usually more of a visual learner, Sonic. Ah, don't worry, Shadow. I'm sure you'll pick it up. Anyway, I think my quest was fundamentally bound to the nature of this land, which was customized to be the profile needs and potential for growth of a 13 year old girl yeah maybe we but shouldn't I'm be talking about all this anymore. if it's about if, if this scene is pertaining to a 13 year old girl it's it's really i mean technically it's not but also like you're not even talking about specific characters so you're fine i think i think we're all right no you you, ca you cannot Ryan discuss Ryan. anything of this kind in the look you're good -year -old you're girl. good i don't care it's fine anyway but i love i'm not, I'm not that anymore it really what, if I, what if I just didn't bother doing it? Robin Hardcocks, baby. Like <laughs> ever. <laughs> dun, 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 but how dun, does the bee strike me down where I loaf? What if I just said, fuck it? What then, silly pink tortoise shell? Hmm? <laughs> she, she loaf on my bee till I fuck it. <laughs> till my silly pink tortoise shell. <laughs> no, that didn't. <laughs> I guess we should stop procrastinating and have this conversation with Kanaya. Okay, fucking Mason, you're taking Kanaya again. That's <clears> the <throat> Scottish, yeah. Yes. If you had a chance to change your yeah, feet. Yeah, if you had a chance. I shave me Scottish! Anyway. If you had a chance no. to shave your feet. Did you make any progress in determining oh. what our... Malefactors want from you and, uh, Karkat? Yes. Well? Oh, she wants us to speak with Knuckles, the echidna. Uh, and? You still there? Yes. Speak to her about what? About releasing the new frog. New frog just dropped. I... I see. At least it would seem you have a project. Teresi and I have received no such instruction. Hello? Hi, yeah. Can I, uh, do you want to talk about my problem? No, she really is that person where if you don't respond to her within like five seconds, she's like, hello, are you still there? Uh, what problem? The, the one pertaining to my substance abuse oh right okay are you you had a chance to abuse your substances <laughs> would you <laughs> if you had a chance well, to i'm going to your try glitz. not to from now on is, is the, i, is I the need thing. to think of a rhyme uh, thinking of she rhyme. abuse on my substance till i seem preoccupied <laughs> 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 until, I, until I seem preoccupied. That meme is so easy to it's do. It's so malleable. It's good. It's, good. it's solid. It is very solid. It's you just, just like, need something that I, seems off. Till I, I do love just till I seem preoccupied. Just like, God, this is absolutely abysmal head. I'm going to go like fucking scroll through fucking Twitter or some shit. That'll, that'll be more engaging than the head. Than this head. Bored. <laughs> Head so bad you get bored. <laughs> that was so mean. If you had a chance so to get shit faced, would you? That would be oh. abysmal. 
Yeah. That would uh, that would crush a person. Holy that shit. That could crush eighteen naked showers in the cowboys at Ram. Dun 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 Anyway. 18 giant throbbing hard cocks waiting to suck. <laughs> they all get bored very easily from the sucking because they're really good. They get preoccupied. The 18 naked is cowboys ready. getting preoccupied at Ram Ranch. <laughs> Me getting the preoccupied at Ram Ranch. Anyway. Ram Ranch, go to Ram Ranch to find the most mediocre head in all of us. To, to find the most absolutely the nothing most head in the world. It's neither, it's neither good nor bad enough to make you pay attention. <laughs> it, is, it is a solid <laughs> 4 most out of 10. Minded head. <laughs> it is a solid 4 out of 10. It's bad, but it's not like painfully bad. It's just like, this is worse than nothing, but not by that much. 18 times Naked anyway, Cowboy fucking, Shower. Are you busy? You seem preoccupied talking about Ram Ranch. No, well, yes, sort of. Of course I'd be preoccupied with the thought of 18 Naked, naked cowboys, cowboys in the that's showers a lot at Ram Ranch. Naked cowboys. If you had the chance, had a chance to, to go in the Ram showers Ranch. at Ram Ranch, to would you? Yeah. I've been Absolute talking about naked. Ram Ranch a lot. I feel like Dave's got to him. Uh, 18 naked uh, hey, uh, all I'm saying is that head made me absent-mindedly wander. <laughs> that, that head made me pertain to thoughts that I would have been doing if I were doing nothing at all. I I think I think I almost actually full on walked away, just just like forgetting I was getting head. It it was just like you know. <laughs> I was like, you know, like why am I trust was, that? Absolutely, it was. Uh, <laughs> just wander out and someone's like. I looked down and went, oh, you, oh, yeah, gonna, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, ah. Oh, pull your pants I off? remember now. Uh, Fully zoned out. Anyway. So, what, are, what are you doing other than talking about Ram Ranch specifically? And the absent minded head. I'm um, absent -minded just head. buying some things. You're, you're buying things? What, what things? Just some provisions. Like, uh, what? And from whom? A local vendor. Ram Ranch. <laughs> I really think if if Ram Ranch was on the land of Wind and Shade, we'd have heard about it already. Dave wouldn't have shut the fuck up about it. Yes. He'd have heard yes. about it from his brother, probably. He was there a while yes. before he got fucking murdered. Anyway, yes. are you in a, a consort village? Do those shops only sell jars of bugs and such? You're not buying jars of bugs, are you? No, definitely okay, not. Okay, 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 A consort village. Yeah, again, I was going to say. Again, phrasing. Yes, that's, it's and Ram, Ram Ranch. Ranch definitely would be a consort village. That's all I'm saying. 18 naked consorts in the showers at Ram She Ranch. consorts on my village till I be a little bit more descriptive. <laughs> till I jar of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not jars of bugs, no. But I am confused. Could you be a little more descriptive? I really should go. Let's talk about my problem later. Your problem? Don't, don't you mean my problem? Yes, definitely. Bye. <laughs> she talk about my problem she, <laughs> until she I be a little She talk on bugs. my problem till I, till I buy. Bye. I don't know. <laughs> Uh Dredgy, where are you going? Dredgy! You have a Do you have a response, Dredgy? Line. Uh, uh wrong voice, wrong voice. <laughs> wrong voice. Uh, okay. Clown hunting, I suppose. Sorry. <laughs> that, that Thought you were just talking to I yourself. think that was supposed to be a badass moment. Oh god, oh oh god oh god. <clears throat> wow. Oh no. It's just the it's just the wow, leprechaun indeed. BS. 
You don't really need to read Diego, this. Rania's exposition on Leprechaun Romance is his entirety, unedited and uncensored censored as promised. Okay, oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, it's all descended into hell. Well, okay. Um... She romanced on my Leprechaun till I... Descended to hell. <laughs> no, no, please go down. Please scroll down. I need to read the first few lines. Uh... She romance she on my leprechaun till I the leprechaun. problem is that when the subject of leprechaun romance is broached, our overly obsessive troll intellects instantly assume the integrating posture of admiration of Well, uh it's broken, so I'm just gonna assume we go back here. Oh. 